In back segment tonight, President Obama gave an address today to the American Legion, as Ed Henry referenced, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Rooting out of cancer like ISIL won't be easy and it won't be quick, but tyrants and murderers before them should recognize that kind of hateful vision ultimately is no match for the strength and hopes of people who stand together for the security and dignity and freedom that is the birthright of every human being. Once again, tough rhetoric from the president who uh, has been very late to confront the ISIS terror army. Joining us now from New York, Monica Crowley here in L.A., Leslie Marshall. I have asked both women to very directly tell us how they would defeat the ISIS army. All right, you are the defense secretary, Leslie Marshall. Frightening. <laughs> what would you do? Well, I'd get a raise, certainly, but uh, there are a few things that could be done. And I mean, you know, one of them is we just back off, not back down. Another is troops on the ground. Another is we, you know, cozy no, no, up no, to I Assad. Don't hear all and, this, uh, okay. You're the defense secretary. What would you do? That's what I want to hear. Go. I would continue airstrikes. I would step up the airstrikes, and I actually would bring those airstrikes to Syria because okay. we missed the mark, uh, not working with the Free Syrian Army, the moderate faction of the Free Syrian Army earlier. You know, I mean, we didn't miss the mark because <coughs> there was no real Free Syrian Army to give anything to, and if we had given it to, the ISIS people would have captured all the weapons just as they did in Iraq, so that's a myth. What do you think, uh, Monica? You're the uh, Defense Secretary. I just fired Leslie. <laughs> um, <laughs> What do you do to defeat the ISIS army? Well, I think, Bill, the first thing you need to do is establish the overall objective, which this administration has not done yet, and that is the annihilation, total and complete, of ISIS. You need to state that. There's no such thing as containing this enemy. There's no such thing as accommodating this enemy. You have to kill their leadership and take out as many rank-and-file jihadis right, as how possible. Do you, how do you do that, Monica? You, you do that in a couple of ways, Bill. First, as Leslie referenced, you do the sustaining bo sustained bombing bombing campaign. That's number one from the air. Number two, you have okay. to have some strength on the ground. That doesn't mean U.S. combat forces, Bill. But what it does mean is equipping and arming our Kurdish allies in the north who have done relatively well against this threat. You also can look to uh, some of the Sunni tribal militias in Iraq and wait, wait, whatever wait, 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 moderate wait, 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 forces wait, wait. may still you're exist give, in Syria. You're going to give American arms to Sunni tribal militias? <laughs> I mean, is, look, this I just want to, I want to listen, state this. Th I want to state this just ISIS captured yes. tons and tons they, they did. Yes. of American They're, weaponry. All right? I understand. Because you know, you're not dealing with people who are reliable. You do I, not I give them service-to-air missiles. But Bill, missiles. I, no, I understand. I'm not arguing for that. This is something actually that former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. John Bolton has recommended at this point because barring a president who who really doesn't want to introduce right. ground it, troops it, in Iraq, you have to equip some allies on the ground. The other right. thing you there need are to no do, allies. Bill, they're not what, our allies. The well, the Sunni Kurds people. certainly are. I, I, Bill, can I, thing, can I jump? Wait, wait, there's one other thing. You have right, to thing. you have to take the head of the snake off, and that is in Syria. Just as during Vietnam, President Nixon went into third countries in Cambodia and Laos to bomb those supply lines. I agree. You got to go to Syria and bomb the hell out of them if you can. Okay, the three of us agree on that. Okay, the three of us do believe that bombing in Syria is necessary if you find the targets. You can't just bomb indiscriminately right. and kill civilians. But this myth that we can arm someone to defeat these people is insane. We can't. We have to defeat them. Now, no, but Secretary, Secretary Kerry did say, Monica. He didn't say that. We needed to contain them. He said we needed to destroy them. Yeah, he he said we needed to power, demolish Karen. them. No, Karen, General, all Karen General can do Dempsey, is get on and off the plane. General and, 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 and in addition Leslie, to that, in addition to that, that we have we to look at the reality. When you talk can. about arming those, in, when you talk about arming those in Iraq, come on, no Sunni is going to die for Tikrit. I mean, this is a problem well, of tribal faction Armies that goes back Iraqi to 400 people. A.D. The now, leadership about, of Iraq needs uh, we, to stop. Uh, Hunt tells me, you know, Colonel Hunt, our military analyst, tells me we got about a thousand special forces now in Iraq. All right, that the government doesn't want the people to know about, yes. but the U.S. government has put about a thousand of them there. Correct. Mostly they're helping for, you know, identify where mm -hmm. these uh, ISIS people are so we can bomb them mm -hmm. and help the, you know, the Kurds prop up their confidence mm -hmm. level. Do we drop three or four thousand of them, Monica, in there? I mean, is that what we do? Yeah, you have to. Look, you cannot fight this war strictly from the air. All right, so you as, say yes. As sophisticated yes. as our air is. Yes, you have okay. to. Look, this is a president who's in a political box because he ran as the anti-Iraq war president. And now we're in a situation because of his total withdrawal from Iraq where now he is going to have to reintroduce, to maybe reinsert. not combat right. troops, but certainly special We got it. Monica Prowley, 
Secretary of Defense wants to put in advisors, that's what we're going to call them, but you say no. No, I say no, because uh, quite frankly, even though this is a secret, you and I know about it, and a lot of other people know about it, and the problem is, uh, part of it is perception. The Iraqi people will perceive, as will the international community, that America is invading the sovereign nation of Iraq once it. again. These people that are, hurts us, and you know what? We, we cannot, we you, can, you we can get right, their weapons go. and train them. We cannot train them to be more. You have to go, fight please. the war now or a bigger one later. All right. Got to go.